Tailback in school history, Ralph Webb, standing about seven yards behind him. He gets the first carry, and he might have gotten a yard. Firmer on second and ten. Kyle goes underneath, and that catch made is by Sam. Uh, really pay off last couple weeks. Therese Hall made the tackle on that one-yard play, and now Shermer looking down the field, telegraphs the interception, and it is picked off by Adam Sparks. Between Kyle Shermer and his intended receiver, you see him just lock on Caleb Scott right there in his eyes. And on the first, through four picks last week, all of them weren't his fault. He had, did have two batted balls, but that last one was one I know he would like to have back. We have a false start. Tonight's referee is John McDade. False start. 16. Offense. Fighter penalty. First down. Were tipped balls at the line of scrimmage, and then the other two poor decisions. But the first one here is certainly a poor decision. Quick throw to C.J. Duncan. And Duncan, quarter, we were delayed by a tornado and... Lots of wind and rain for 30 minutes. And on the end around, that's Webb, and Webb get banged up, but out there again tonight. Third and 13. Shermer has a man open, and it's incomplete just off the fingertips of Trent Sherfield. And then had to get out of the game plan quickly. I think it's still an opportunity to go back to Ralph Webb. Saw his numbers on the screen. Lifetime against Missouri. He's never thrown a touchdown against them. Webb to the ground. That She couldn't finish school, so she had to work for her sister, for his sister, and for him as Wakefield. Derek Mason took over. You talk about a, a player that made the most of the coaching change. It's the guy with the ball right now. And he is just shy of the... Really, really admire has had a joy covering his career as a Commodore. And on third and one, of course they go to him, and he puts his head down. The Vanderbilt needed after moving the chains, and Shermer alone in his backfield. And across the middle, likes throw to Sherfield and see if they... Go toward him again on third and nine as the Tigers are off sides. It's a free play. And Shermer throws to Sherfield, but short of the first down. So instead half of it, get close to a first down, and Derek Mason's got to consider going for it. We need to get to the 46. Shermer steps up and overthrows Sam Dobbs, but another flag comes in. They get it at their own 32-yard line with Webb standing next to Shermer and a fake to him. Plenty of time to survey the field and deliver a strike out near the 50-yard line, and that's Donovan Tennessee. Eight yards, 17 in the air, make it 18 actually, first and 10. Shermer, and it's a little bit behind. I mean, on the receiving end of things for Vanderbilt. Well, dives ahead. This program and pretty much every week on a weekly basis, daily basis, gets the best out of his players. Third and nine for his offense here. Shermer, middle of the field, and unable to make the catch is Duncan. So, well, gets a block and gets past the 15. It's tackle. There is a hole right here. Nice, nice block by Jared Southers pulling around. And Missouri threatening to come after Shermer here. Underneath to Ralph, and he'll move the chains on the reception to the 22-yard line. Of well, the season could finish as one of the top five all-time in the SEC in rushing. He's left again, tries to get the corner, and it's Garrett. In his Vanderbilt career. They go to him again. He gets to the 25-yard line, and Garrett is all over the field. Think about that for a second. As a Eastern Conference, this is a third and seven for Shermer, and the door is here. And a good throw and catch made by Duncan, and, but he's a uh, yard shy short. of the first down. Game. They've got a long way to go before that happens, though. So does Vanderbilt to get back into this game. Shermer tries the sideline into heavy traffic, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Lipscomb. Struggling, you got to find a way to help him out. 
quick throw to the sideline, and it's AC again. Yeah, no doubt. So Sherfield loses three on that catch. It's third and 13. Shermer underneath, dropped by Webb. It's fourth down. Quick three and out for Vanderbilt. And Floyd makes him pay. A lot of football to play to celebrate on one simple play. After they went to the Independence Bowl and lost to NC State. Out Webb to the ground, and Webb passed nice. the 30-yard line. So nice. Missouri and Garrett right after Webb, and they clog the middle. Excited to be in Lexington, Kentucky to see yeah. Lamar Jackson in the Louisville Cardinals battle the Cats. Well, I don't think he's getting enough love in terms of won the Heisman Trophy. In my book, it's the best award, individual award in American sports. And character I matters. I know yeah, it I does think, to I you. Think we, there's I a big hit by Garrett there in the backfield. After the three-yard loss on second down. Shermer under pressure, almost sacked and throws incomplete. A flag comes in. A lot of guys. You got to <laughs> keep us working up here with all these defensive linemen in and out. Middle of the field is open and the catch made by Sherfield. Game this season. 150 left in the half. Shermer steps up and will run. You don't see that very often. Leads the team in tackles tonight. In all season. Oh, and right here, he lights up Shermer in the backfield. Street. Eight tackles in the first half. Ralph Webb, on a third down run, gets a block and gets the first down nice outside work. of bounds inside the 30. It looked like Big Della Ripa was the guy that threw the block for, for Ralph Webb. Uh, underneath waits too long for Dobbs. He so far trying to put some points on the board before halftime. They will get the football first. He drops it, picks it back up, and there's a whistle there as they're going to say when he picked it up, his knee was on the ground. 16. Ari Blossom game has been banged up with turf toe in the backfield. The catch, no, incomplete. Shermer, in zone, incomplete, looking for Sherfield. Bruno Regan, which is, you know, you got to com commend him for that. But Now fourth and 11, and this ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. Terry Beckner. Obviously disappointed in those big plays. Shermer under center. A quick throw and a block. Lipscomb gets free. Kalijah Lipscomb in the Missouri Territory. Be one yard for the sophomore from New Orleans. Again at the line of scrimmage. This time it's Duncan taking on some tacklers and getting about eight yards. On a quick adjustment to make tackles in the open field. Let's do it again. Same play each side three straight times, and it's a first down for Caleb so Scott. Forever, but I have loved following his career. Fake to Webb, roll out to the big tight end Pinkney, and Pinkney breaks tackles inside the 10, and he's inside the 5. Freshman team in 2016, Mr. Webb the deep back, and he oh gets boy. hit immediately by Beckner. Guess who? You need to say, say no more. Second and goal from the 6. Shermer rolling out, has to throw it away, flag comes in. Here comes Missouri, end zone incomplete, and the Tigers jumped early. You missed his calling. <laughs> First and goal. <laughs> Inside the two, Webb straight ahead, dives from there. Nice effort. Second effort, they say, still short. Inside the one. Webb, touchdown Commodores. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just the determination, the will to Alabama or Auburn next Saturday. Well, Auburn's on a roll, but Bama's got athletes, and they've they've been there. Auburn has as well, but I just believe in Alabama, and it's hard when you get to that point in the season. On the Plains next week. Shermer with another flag down to Dobbs 
at the 33-yard line. Second and five. Here goes Webb. Webb past the 50, past the 45, and he's ninth. Della Ripa, the right guard, and Cochran, the right tackle. They open up a nice creep. Sunday will serve itself well to give him an opportunity. Over 4,000 yards is now in play action. Shermer loads up. In the red zone again, and look at this, a little reverse. Sweep to the right, sweep to the left to Sherfield. down territory when you start looking at how they've got to get back in the game here. Second and seven, middle of the field. Nice. Completion to Tennyson. I had watched Garrett follow the tight end peak in the outside. Now it's just the eyes of the quarterback to move him there, and all it takes is a split. Fake to Webb. Looking wide open. Touchdown. Runners as well in America. We will celebrate after some big time kicks. Shermer middle of the field is open and it's dropped that was Jared Pinkney to break this thing down so many opportunities this is awesome work remember we talked earlier about the middle of the field and the tight ends well there Hit three drops last week and now two this week second down and ten Shermer sideline throw trying to make the one-handed grab was Caleb Scott. So we're hand a short game is a mess. Third and ten. <laughs> Shermer facing heavy pressure. Sideline throw caught. And Caleb Scott. Solid route runner and excellent hands by Caleb Scott. First and ten. Now Pinkney makes this catch inside the 40 yard line. Another first down down to the 39. And a Nathan Marcus and Sam Dobbs. Shermer, great catch made, straddling the sideline by Blassing Game. Oh, if he could get his footing, he's going to walk in. They get the blitzer off the edge. Excellent read by field tonight. His closest friend on the team, Ralph Webb, lined up as a receiver for a second now in the backfield. Open on the play was an underneath fullback. Traditional look with Webb, the deep back. Inside the five, bang down at the four. Downs to have a shot in the fourth. All out blitz. Wide open receiver, but threw it in front of. But he told him to expect the blitz. It was there, and all you got to do is put it on it. Just put it right between the one and the zero in that, in that game. But those are the six, our top six right now. Ralph Webb, Shermer alone in his backfield at the moment. Quick throw. Nice catch made by Lipscomb. And Lipscomb up near the 50 yard lines. Go down to Olivia. See me get about a yard. And lowering his pads is Ralph Webb. He smiled and he said, let's just say he's playing through the pain. Speaking about Ralph Webb. Catch made at the 41 yard line by Dunk. On each each one of these, each series of downs. Shermer wide open is Pinkney inside the 10. First and goal. Is an individual that has the talent to exploit it right as he clears of 20 plus this half for Vanderbilt. Shermer incomplete to Dobbs. Second and goal, and they go to blasting game, and he's not able, Wakefield rather, and he's not able to get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll trying to get into the end zone again on a third and ten. Shermer. Catch and note not made by Sherfield. Not same check that he had before he had to, was forced to call the timeout. He gets hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. And fourth down, they're bringing it. Able to get home with Fraser from Missouri. They get off the field. Shermer, another.
another drop. Sideline, this one is young players. Drew Locke will be back, I imagine, again next year. Third and five for Shermer. Catch made by Pinkney. Mizzou and a nice catch by Pinkney stays in bounds and Pinkney's had a heck of a second half. Pinkney's a big man. Shermer's got time underneath. Webb can't make the catch. It's without one. That'll change in Knoxville next Saturday afternoon. Bubble to Webb and it's broken up incomplete. Third down. It just comes with playing time. A lot of young players just needed to play. Shermer tucks and runs and is out of bounds. Catch made. He wants to know who the next coach of the Big Orange will be. Shermer throw down to the five to Pinkney in the first and goal here with just over four minutes to go. Kyle's flushed out again. To the end zone, and it's deflected away and complete. Shermer play breaks down in the backfield, and down he goes. Frazier, the line has to make a decision on who to double team, and it's freed up Beckner. First and goal. And Missouri looks like they're offsides again as blasting game is stopped. Yeah, definitely there. Turn it away. Picked away at in zone coverage. First and goal from the two. Shermer intercepted. That's Terry Beckner picking it off. Beckner's got daylight in front of him. You know how badly this man wants the end zone, but he falls down at the 46 yard line. Most parks. Almost three years to the day since Missouri won on the road in the Southeastern Conference. That changes tonight as Barry Odom 